Hi there! This free-to-play mobile game you see is King of Fighters All-Stars, and it looks like a cool fighting title at the first view. Is it really like that? In this review, I'll try to find what is good and what is bad about this game full of content. And I have to say that I'm not familiar with the King of Fighters franchise at all. I guess that it will help me to avoid some bias and fanboying. So, let's have a roll at this game. Wait, before we start, here is a kitty, just for you. King of Fighters All-Stars is a new big mobile game, based on a popular fighting franchise. Actually, in its core, KOF All-Stars is more of a beat-em-up than a fighting game, since it is focused on PvE and often involves beating some lesser enemies before a player can fight a boss. But there is some PvP in the game too, and we will return to this question later. Now let's see how King of Fighters All-Stars is advertised in Play Store. The game claims to have amazing graphics, simple but exciting fighting experience, a great variety of characters, and real-time PvP and cooperative play. Amazing graphics? Well, check. The game is a pleasure to watch and play, animations are fluid, characters are detailed, and the colors are vibrant. Can't argue here, just can't. Let's just enjoy it for a bit. Next, fights and control mechanics. At the start of their journey, players have only a few button options to learn the game's simple control scheme, but that quickly evolves into some serious button meshing, with some real skill and strategy involved. And I have to say that it is a good thing in a free game, where characters can be upgraded and leveled up. The fights are really fast-paced, and the game has some variety to allow some strategic character builds. A wide array of content that King of Fighters All-Stars promises is a real thing too. There is a lot of unique fighters to unlock, upgrade, equip and combine in different ways. The last one is a very important part of the game, because all the fighters have different powers that often shine if specific teams of fighters are formed. The downside to it is that a player will have to spend a lot of time or money to unlock and upgrade all the characters they need, but it is a common thing for such games. Variety doesn't stop for just characters. King of Fighters All-Stars has a truckload of game modes, events, rewards, progress bars and other stuff including a long, linear story. There is no need to describe all of those, but there are some cool ones. To be honest, all that content overwhelms a bit, and the story with default amnesia twist feel very, very bland to me, and also a bit cryptic. But I am sure that there will be some people to actually enjoy it. Big check on the content spot for this game. A big one. Well, to the next point. PvP and cooperative play are in the KOF All-Stars, but those mods aren't in their best shape to be true, mainly because of the game's connection issues. By the way, check out this screen. You probably will see this one a lot while playing this game. I do. Most of the PvP modes in the game are asynchronous. It means that a player fights other players' characters that are controlled by bots. In other words, they are fake. But there are not fake modes too. It's a friendly PvP mode, for an example, which I wasn't able to play, and a tournament mode with real-time PvP that is laggy as hell. Just watch this for a bit. By the way, I have to give King of Fighters All-Stars some credit. That real-time PvP mode is kind of fair, since all characters in that mode are upgraded to the max. I also wasn't able to play cooperative modes, just because there were no willing players. But that wasn't a big downside to me, just because somehow the developers have added cooperative play options only for some low-level activities. Or there is a chance that I've managed to find only those. Anyways, if the connection will be improved, this real-time PvP fighting will be a pretty nice feature. Not? 
now. Our next stop is the monetization, and the things are mixed here. On the one hand, King of Fighters All-Stars uses some monetization patterns that are common for such games. It has it all – hero collecting and leveling, upgrading stars with use of various resources, character synergies, time-limited events, stamina system, and so on, and so on, and so on. The ways those games are tricking players into paying are often incredible and can be discussed for an unlimited amount of time. No need to focus on that very deep here, just keep in mind that this game may make you want to spend some money by introducing you to some stronger enemies or offering you a character you can't resist. And, on the other hand, KOF All-Stars do not really pressure its players into paying something, at least for a very long time, so long that it is very possible for a player to get bored with the game. As for me, I have managed to get a basic team of rare heroes and to complete a full story on easy mode. That maybe wasn't very challenging, but to let players enjoy the full story without introducing them to any paywalls is a very polite move from the devs. Also, King of Fighters All-Stars often introduces some modes featuring fair play, where players can competitively play using fully upgraded characters. So, should you try King of Fighters All-Stars? Well, it's a beautiful hero-collecting RPG fighting game that uses a popular franchise. So, if you are into those things, then you should at least try KF All-Stars. The good thing is that if you don't like the game or just don't feel like grinding, you can just complete the story, try out some game modes and proudly live without paying anything. But be aware of this game being potentially addictive and introducing some paywalls later in the game. Also, you'll probably have to pay some money to climb higher in some late-game activities. Ok, thank you for staying with me for that long and watching or listening to my stuff. This is the end of my review, but isn't the end of the video yet. If you've been watching me for a while, then you probably have noticed that I've deviated from my usual routine a bit and reviewed a bit more popular game for a change. But don't worry, I do not plan to abandon my obscure edition series. It will be out as soon as I can make it out since day job. If you like my videos, then you can help me grow by sharing this video and maybe watching some other videos on my channel. Also, leaving a like or comment helps a lot in terms of growth. So, don't be shy and write me a message, I'll answer as soon as I can. Have fun and stay amazing as you are. Don't get beaten, please. Goodbye.